Somehow a video I made about hammers got over 3 million views and 100,000 of you decided to follow me. So what does this mean now? I don't know, but I got my first sponsorship offer. Let's read it together. Yeah, that looks safe. Dear Willem. Oh, we're already off to a really good start. My name is Amy and I represent the influential brands. Oh my God, all of them? I have been in search of Tick Talk. Oh boy. Um, stars to promote. And it is my pleasure to seek your business assistance and I want you to consider it very important. This is an opportunity I would like us to utilize very well. <laughs> um, please know that you will be entitled to a large percentage, and that part is bold and underlined in purple. That will be discussed, and there is no risk involved in this regard. The transaction will be executed under legitimate arrangement that will protect you from breach of law. <laughs> I immediately, sorry, I immensely request for your optimum honesty and cooperation and let me know your mind on this. And please do treat this information as top secret, bold, underlined, red. By reading this email, you were under NDA to not tell anyone about this exclusive opportunity. <laughs> if you breach the terms, U.S. law says you can go to prison and be fined up to, uh... I don't know how to parse that number, but it looks like a pretty big number. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to jail. Um, oh, oh, I can download the contract, though. Um, so, yeah. Uh, obviously, this is a scam email, and I do not recommend anyone opening these. But I was curious to see just what kind of chicanery we're dealing with. So I opened it up on desktop and hovered over that link and it sends you to a WeTransfer page of all places. So I booted up a virtual machine on my 10-year-old laptop, and you know what I found? Brandcontract.pdf.exe. This may not be the oldest trick in the book, but it's damn near close. This is probably a controversial opinion, but don't download random executables from people you don't know, or even people you know. Uh, that's a lesson we learned in the 2000s. Oh, actually, speaking of, uh, Amy's personal email address is an AOL account. So, yeah, I don't even know what fucking year it is anymore. Um, cool. So yeah, thank you all for coming on this weird, bizarre journey with me, and there is more to come. And if we continue this trajectory, I think I'll be able to do what all the other cool kids are doing and back some kind of cryptocurrency and then just run an affinity scam on all of you. So look forward to that. I certainly am, and my bank account is too.